A soulmate usually only comes once in your life to shake things up, show you true love, and stand up to you in ways no one else ever has. They adore you, yet challenge you to your fullest potential. A soulmate relationship isn't only peaches and cream, it's roses and thorns. Love is when you keep coming back in each other's arms despite the fights, despite the arguments, despite the mood swings and despite all the mess in your life. Just because you are mentally, soulfully, and spiritually compatible. My dad once told me, keep her stomach and flower vase full and you'll have a lot less problems, and tbh that's probably some of the best relationship advice I've ever been given a male. Men settle where there is peace, women bring peace where they're treated well. It takes effort from both sides to make it work. Be with someone who will sit down with you and say, Okay, I understand. I'm not leaving you. Let's fix this, we're in this together. Full offense but if I openly communicate the ways that your actions and words have hurt me and you choose to ignore my truth because it challenges you, then I won't feel bad for removing you. I don't have time for immaturity, manipulation, projection or passive behavior, believe that. When you meet someone who tries their hardest to stick by you regardless of how difficult you are, keep them. Keep them at all costs because finding someone who cares enough to look past your flaws isn't something that happens every day. Appreciate those who make time for you, because they're sharing a piece of their life with you, not just their time. May you attract someone who appreciates you, respects you, loves you, heals with you, grows and evolves with you. Affirm yes. Distance is not a problem. The problem is humans who do not know how to love without touching, without seeing or without listening. Love is felt with the heart, not with the body. A healthy person will hear your boundaries and respect them. A narcissist will hear your boundaries, make themselves the victim, blame you, and ignore your boundaries. Some people are in your life to test you. Until you stand up and say, enough is enough. I am worth more than you offer me. The reality is. None of us are easy to be with. We all suffer from something. So when you meet someone who's actually willing to stay committed to understand you and actually wants to grow with you, don't let something silly like ego and pride ruin it. A female never forgets how a man treats her during the time she needs his support the most. Most women are attracted when a man tells them what he truly wants and is honest with them right from the start. Be yourself. People don't have to like you and you don't have to care. 